Now it is possible to do the Cartesian product of three sets. So here we have three sets, and then we take the Cartesian product A times B times C. What this will produce is a set of ordered pairs, the first, I mean, ordered triples. The first element in the ordered triple will come from A. So in this case, we'll get a two from A. The second one will come from B, so I'll get a one from B, and the third one will come from C. So each ordered triple will follow that pattern. The first element will come from A, the second one from B, and the third one from C. Let me, I'm gonna to try to do it in this order. I'll do all the two ones first, and then I'll change C. And then I'll do the two sixes, and I'll start with seven from C, and, um, and then I'll do the next one. Now I'm gonna pause the video and finish this. There, now the, all, that's all of the triples that you could make by having A be the first element, and an element from B be the second element, and an element from C be the third element in that ordered triple. And so the first element always comes from the first set, the second element comes from the second set, and the last one comes from the third set. And then, and there's a triple, uh, all the combinations of those triples. Notice how many there are. It, there's one, each element is a triple. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we can get this by multiplying the cardinality of the individual sets. It's two times three is six, times two is 12. So we end up with 12 elements. It's a way to double check you got them all, right? So you can multiply uh, three. Uh, you could multiply four sets. If you do four sets, then you have a four tuple for each one. If you have multiply, if you do the Cartesian product of five sets, you end up with a five tuple. So the ordered sets that are every combination and the ordered set reflects the order that the Cartesian product is written in. It is also possible to do a Cartesian product of a set with itself. And you can write this A cross A, or you can write this as um, A squared, right? So it isn't that interesting because it works like multiplication. So let's, let me set that. All right, so that's another way to write it. And what does it equal? Well, it's a set of ordered pairs, and the first element comes from A, and the second element comes from A. So there's one of them. And then another ordered pair, the first element comes from A, the second element comes from A. How many combinations can we have? Well, we know that it's going to be the cardinality of A is two times the cardinality of A, which is two, so two times two, we're gonna end up with four elements. And we can do this, why we'll end up with four? Because order matters, right? So because they're an ordered pair, the six comma two is different than the six comma, um, than six, then two, two comma six is different than six comma two. So we end up with four ordered pairs, and we can do that with itself. We can go further than that, right? So we could do the combination of triples with the same one as well. So this is A, Cartesian product A, Cartesian product A, and this then would be A cubed. How many would this be? How many combinations? It would be two times two times two, so we're gonna get eight combinations. Right? And these ones, since it's three different ones, they're going to be sets of triples. So it's going to be element from A, an element from A, an element from A. And that's going to be one of the triples in there. And then we could do an element A, element A, and element A. And you just go through and do all the combination of those. I'll pause and do that. And there we end up with a set of eight elements, right? Two times two times two is eight. So there are the eight combinations of how we can do an ordered triple using elements from A.